I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to sketch graph of a function from given conditions and these conditions relate to first and second derivative of the function. The question here is sketch graph of a function with following characteristics f of 0 is equal to 0 that means value of the function at 0 is 0. Second derivative of the function is less than 0 for x greater than 0. Second derivative of the function is greater than 0 for x less than 0. And second, this is this is kind of wrong. Let me just remove this. It's kind of a repetition. Okay. Now, then we are given that the limit of the function, rather the limit of derivative of the function as x approaches 0 from the left side is positive infinity and limit when x approaches 0 from the right side for the derivative of the function is positive infinity, right? So from both the sides, the derivative is positive infinity. You need to consider all these conditions and graph which matches these conditions. You can always pause the video and answer the question. Now, my strategy here is to think about all these conditions and understand what they really mean. So let's say this is our graph paper. We'll sketch a rough graph. Let's analyze each condition. f of 0 is 0. That means origin is part of the graph of the function, right? Second derivative is less than 0. Less than 0 means concave down. That means concave down when x is greater than 0. That is to say, well, if we consider the lower half, I'm just sketching as my thinking, right? So let's, this is my thinking portion, which I'm trying to share with you, right? So here what we are saying is second derivative is less than 0 for x greater than 0. Less than 0 means the structure or the graph will be concave down, right? That is what it means. Now it says the second derivative is greater than 0 means concave up for x less than 0. That means this part should be concave up, right? That's what it means. So that's the shape of the graph. Then the limit for the derivative. That means if I draw a tangent to this curve, in that case, it is approaching positive infinity from both the sides. 0 from left or from right. So that means if I draw a tangent and as I approach 0, it kind of approaches positive infinity, right? So this you can see for both these graphs, it is actually positive and as you approach towards 0, it is kind of positive infinity, right? So these conditions are, this is what these conditions are. Now, matching with this, what you can sketch since we know that that is the kind of shape, we could actually sketch a graph which could be. So, so here what you say is change of concavity, right? Do you see the change of concavity? So that means there is a point of inflection at origin, right? That indicates a point of inflection. So as soon as you get point of inflection, simplest graph is kind of a cubic function types you could draw or like this, you see? If I draw a function kind of like this, uh, and here if I turn the concavity kind of like this, in that case, we meet all the conditions. f of 0 is 0, concave down on the right side, concave up on the left side, and the tangents at this point is, is positive infinity, right? So that becomes the graph which matches the given conditions, right? So I hope you understand the strategy and the thinking process which goes along for sketching such functions. I'm Anil Kumar. Keep sharing your views and posting questions. All my videos are free to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All the best.